is going to look something like this. It's a very good theme for affiliate marketing. We're not going to be using any of the adverts. However, we are going to be using these featured tiles up here and the big large hero image. I'll show you how to edit the menu, how to set up your privacy pages, and also how to fill out any of the important legal information about affiliate marketing networks or programs to be working with by the end of this video. Okay, so it's a very nice theme, very nice website, and I'll show you exactly how to set this all up with your affiliate links and SEO ready. Okay, so you can rank on Google, start getting some traffic, start making some money with affiliate marketing. What is going on guys? Today's gonna to be a very interesting video. If you are new to this channel, then I regularly do affiliate marketing videos just like this one, but however, in today's video, I'm gonna do a complete tutorial. So I never get asked the question again, how do you set up an affiliate site? If you've been on the fence about setting up a site and it's something that you have been putting on the back burner, then today grab a cup of coffee or tea, whatever it is that you prefer and get started with your site. Follow this step by step. Make sure you go get a notebook or something like that because we're gonna go through step by step of exactly setting up an affiliate website. I'm gonna show you exactly how to go and buy themes in the marketplace. I'm gonna show you how to install a theme, how to set up your site, hosting, buy a domain name, how to pick a domain name, absolutely everything. And then even obviously, if you wanna integrate your affiliate, um, Amazon affiliate with, with your website, then there'll be a few tips at the end of this video on that as well. Everything is just here. Like this is the video for 2020 if you're trying to set up an Amazon affiliate website. Now, at the beginning of this video, you saw the theme that we're gonna be using, for example, purposes inside of this video. So we're gonna go through all of that. Make sure you smash that like button and that subscribe button if you're excited to get into this video. That said, let's get straight into it. Great, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started right now by first of all, heading over to namecheap.com and that's where we're gonna purchase the domain, okay? So this is a good domain name service provider. I use them for all of my sites. Um, and you just wanna create an account, which is very simple to do. Once you've created an account, you're gonna have a bunch of different domains, okay, that you can purchase. So once you've created an account, it's gonna be very easy for you to then go and purchase a domain name from them. So the way that I find these names is I'll just go to here and then you just type the name that you're potentially looking at inside of this uh, box here. Now, if you can't think of one, just type domain name generator. And there's a few sites that you can use that will help you to you know, find a domain name that you might want. So name mesh, I believe this is one that I use. Yeah, I use this quite a lot. Like if you put in a name, say for example, I don't know, affiliate, if it was like a name about affiliate marketing, a site, it will basically find you sites. So that's just their affiliate um, pro, <laughs> they're trying to promote something there. Um, but yeah, so if you go down to like SEO or something like that, it's like affiliate LLC, very affiliate, HD affiliate, clean affiliate, that's a pretty cool name clean affiliate, um, you know, affiliate X, uh, kid affiliate. That's quite cool as well, kid affiliate, like if you're young, so on and so forth. I'm sure you get the idea. You can use this site if you get stuck with that. Okay, so just say, for example, we wanted that name, like kid affiliate. Okay, so kid affiliate, and then we'll put .com and you press enter. So all I did was obviously search for a domain name and I clicked domain name search there. So it's saying it's available. And as I said, it would be like roughly about five to 10 pounds for a domain name. You click add to cart and then you go to view cart. After you've done that, what you wanna do, I've got this plugin that tries to find discounts there, but who is God? You wanna have one year subscription. It's completely free. Okay, so auto renew it. Domain name registration, select the time of years of how long you'd like to how hold this domain for. Obviously, if you do two years, three years, the price will go up accordingly. But you do get discounts if you buy it, you know, ahead of time, like three years in, in bulk or five years, so on and so forth. All this other stuff that they're trying to upsell you, don't worry about it. Don't buy it. You don't need it. 
So the total price is 693 if you do have any promo codes or you can find one, so be it, put it in there. Okay, now we're gonna confirm order. You can either click that one or that one. Now, once you've done this, obviously this is putting it in dollars. So what we're gonna do is, I'm actually gonna buy this and show you how it works. So kid affiliate via PayPal, I'll pay because I've got PayPal registered on here, I believe. And then we're just gonna purchase that. So once you've purchased this through PayPal, or whatever you're using, then we'll own that domain, okay? So we're gonna use this preferred way, PayPal. See, I'm actually doing all the purchases for you guys, so you get the full experience from start to finish. So we've got that now, and that's our receipt, like if you wanna download it, so on and so forth. Now you do need to be careful, I'd recommend downloading the receipt, because sometimes you do get, like, you know, problems, like where it doesn't, it doesn't straight away send it to you or something happens. So just keep it just in case. I mean, they'll still be able to allocate your payment anyway, even if you didn't have it. So now I own kidaffiliate.com for a year. So I own that domain. Now, the next thing we're gonna need is hosting. Now I already have a hosting plan with SiteGround. I recommend these guys because I've tested out a few different hosting services and these appear to be one of the best um, for the price that you pay. Their online server time is, is really good. Their uptime, um, you know, so they're hardly ever down and it's very fast uh, site loading with, with this hosting plan and their customer service is brilliant. They have like a tech team on hand at hand. So anytime that, you know, you experience any problems, more or less, you, you're going to get the assistance that you need. Okay, so what we're going to do is click get started with web hosting. Now the plan that I would recommend you go for is the Grow Big plan. Again, there's links to this in the description to this uh, plan and to this page so you can get started with them. Okay, so I get plan and then you would click, I already have a domain, so we'd put kidaffiliate.com, okay? And then proceed. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up. So you put in your email address and all of your details. So, you know, you, you create a password, say for example, put the password, name, so on and so forth. I'm sure you know how to set that up. And then you're gonna select the amount of time. Now, if you do 12 month plan, because it only allows you to do like, you can do a trial, so it says for a month, but it's 15 pounds. I recommend just doing the whole year so you don't have to think about it again. And that would be 71 pounds and 28 pence, okay? Now, once you've done that, you're gonna to need to confirm and then you, I mean, this is optional if you wanna receive news and email, I personally wouldn't. Don't worry about this, you don't need it, okay? You don't need any of these extra things. You can take this because obviously it's free and that should be enough. So they're saying it's 495 a month, that's what it works out to, okay? But they're gonna bill you for the whole year, for 12 months, so don't get that mixed up. And then you would obviously, you know, pay now, okay? And once you've done that, you'll be able to log into a page like this, okay? So this will basically bring you to this point where you can log in with your password that you created in the account just there. And now you'll have hosting. So there might be a few other things that you just need to, you know, kind of tick boxes on. If it asks you where you're hosting, where you'd like it located, then if you're gonna be, you know, mainly driving traffic from the UK, then you would select the UK server. If you are gonna be driving traffic from the USA, then of course you would select the US server that they have. So that's one of the questions that I do remember them asking at the beginning. If there's anything else that you do get stuck with, then obviously just leave a comment in the comment section and I'll make sure to answer that. Okay, so when you land on this page here, what we're gonna do is we're now gonna add the domain onto this hosting plan. So once you've got this hosting plan set up, you're gonna add your domain onto it, okay? So the next thing you're gonna need to do is go to my accounts and then C panel, okay? Now proceed. And what you're gonna do after that is we're now gonna go to domains and then add on domains. That's the first thing you're gonna need to do, okay? Now, the domain that you're gonna to wanna to add on is gonna be kidaffiliate.com. So 
So we're just gonna click there. After you click into the second box, it will automatically generate everything. And okay, so that's now created, okay? And what we're gonna do is go back. Now we've got the domain on file, we're gonna go to cPanel home. The next thing we're gonna need to do is integrate the domain with the hosting plan, okay? So we've obviously added it on, but now we need to add our name servers into the actual domain name provider, okay? So what we're gonna do is go to account dashboard and then we're gonna find this, we're gonna click manage on the right hand side. Okay, now once you've done that, we're gonna change the name servers down here to custom DNS, okay, which is custom domain name server. And what we're gonna do is gonna take number one, which is that one there, I'm gonna copy that, we're gonna paste that into name server one, and then we're gonna take the second name server, which is NS2, copy that, and then we're gonna paste it into here. Okay, now you're gonna click tick and done. Now this can take up to 48 hours, you see that at the top, but usually it does happen within an hour or so. So that's happening right now. So now we've integrated the two. Okay, great. So the next part, what we're gonna do is install WordPress. So what you need to do is when you're on this cPanel, which is easily accessed by my accounts just up here, after that, you'd scroll down to where you see WordPress tools and then click WordPress installer. Now, what we're gonna do at this section is we're gonna go to install, okay? So we wanna do a quick install. You select your domain from down here, okay? So we've got kid affiliate. So we're just gonna find the normal one, kidaffiliate.com, okay? And then you would type your admin username, which I recommend just keeping as admin, and then using a password which obviously, you know, you can uh, you can generate a password, okay? And then after that, you're just gonna click install. Now, once you've done that, it can take a few moments, as you can see, three to four minutes, and we're gonna wait for that to install. Once that happens, you'll receive an email of where once you get that email, you will get all the details to access your website. Now, to access any WordPress website, all you have to do is go to the domain name forward slash WP hyphen admin, okay? And that's for any site. And then obviously this is your site here, okay? So what we're gonna do is open link in new tab and we should have a site soon. So it's not ready yet. It can take, you know, a little while for your site to come live. As we saw earlier, it can take up to 48 hours for your hosting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for that to all get started and don't worry if it doesn't happen within 24 hours, don't panic. Just wait for it to happen and it will eventually liven up. All right, so we're gonna come back as soon as that's done. Okay, so I just want you to be a little careful because I just received the email, but it didn't land in the primary tab. It actually landed in the uh, promotion tab. So just be aware of that. And it will say site ground, WordPress installation confirmation. So that's just gonna give you, you know, your information of how to log into your WordPress website. So on this screen, you're gonna enter your admin username that I instructed you to do, to use. And then after that, you're gonna enter your email. So save that, you know, if you want to save that. Now, when you come into your dashboard for the first time, it's gonna look something like this, okay? So this is gonna give you just like, this is site grounds information. As you can see, it's very similar to their theme. So right now your site has nothing on it. So what we're gonna need to do next is we're gonna need to install a theme, okay? So if you have multiple users or anything like that, you might wanna set that up. And then there's settings, general, and so on and so forth. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna show you how to install your theme. Now the theme that I recommend is Income Schools Akabadu. The reason why is because it cuts back and strips away a lot of the things that you have to learn as a beginner Amazon affiliate marketer. So if you use this theme straight away, it's gonna really help you with your rankings, your SEO, because there's not as much for you to remember. So the way you can get hold of this as well, by the way, is come to Income School, click Akabadu, and then as you scroll down, you can see some of their sites that they've used it on in the past. Um, so you can see an example of the theme. So I'll just show you. It's the one that I showed you at the beginning of, of this video anyway. 
but you can see if we go to like this site camper report you'll, you'll see exactly what the theme looks like so it just looks like this very simple theme but it's very effective it works it just works okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go down and you can buy this for fifty dollars per year or ninety nine dollars for a lifetime okay of course it's a no-brainer you would buy this because this is like you can use them on every site for fifty dollars a year but why would you do that when you can just buy this and you never have to buy it again i'm sure that 100 years will be more than enough time for, for your lifetime especially if you're watching this video okay so what we're gonna do now is you would click best value 99 dollars enter your details and then pay via paypal or stripe as i've already got this i'm just gonna show you we're gonna zoom over to my page okay so once you've purchased the theme you'll be brought to a page like this when you log in okay because on the top right hand side you can log in log out so on and so forth so the first thing you're going to click is download and install so you can download the latest version of akabadu so you can see here this is the theme and what we're going to do it just asks you for your email and stuff once you've uploaded it we're going to go to um, appearance themes and then we've already got this theme here just leave it for the moment because it's going to perform as a template you know and then what we're going to do is actually to be fair it's not even um, live at the moment but what we're going to do is we're just going to click upload theme choose file install now okay so once you install this you can then activate the theme okay now anything behind it now we can take away okay so this could act as a child theme as they call it but you know we don't really need this anyway so just get rid of it okay so now we've got akabadu now new theme activated visit site okay so i do believe when you go to akabadu manager it will then ask for your password so whatever password you've used click activate and then obviously it will make it live theme is active okay and you can do this for as many sites as you want now if we click view site now you would have seen how your site looks before like it looked something like this let's just have a look and now it looks like this okay so it's just changed so this looks very blank as you can see it doesn't look like this right now does it so there's still a lot of work to do okay another thing that's handy about having this theme is you've got Jim who has already recorded all of these tutorials on exactly how to set up akabadu so all you need to do to get to that if you do get stuck is akabadu tutorials and then it gives you a setup guide i'm going to take you through that in this video so continue watching and we'll go through it ourselves so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install a plugin that's going to install all the demo content because right now you can see that the site has nothing it doesn't look like this okay so to get it to look like that we're going to install a plugin so when we go down on the left hand side we're going to go to add new okay and there will be a few other plugins that we're going to end up installing but for now this is what we're going to install okay so add new then we're going to search plugin sorry down here and what we're going to search for is demo import yep so just have a look so this is the one we need one click demo import okay so we're going to click install now and once that's installed we're going to click activate now there's going to be another two plugins that i'd like you to install right now so just go back to add new we're going to install image optimizer because that's going to be essential to, for the to use this theme okay so short pixel image optimizer so we want that okay we're going to click activate and then there's going to be one more so the api key you can validate with this all you'd need to do is we don't have an email address uh, for this at the moment so if you don't have an email address this is a good shout that this came up so let's just click request now okay i've read terms and services sign up okay so once you've got your api key we're going to come into the actual plugin so the way you'd get to the plugin is go to plugins on the left hand side go to installed plugins and then you'd click short image 
uh, optimizer and then settings okay now this is going to bring you back to here so what we're going to do is you've already got the api key and then you would set this the only thing you're going to change is set less than 1024 so 1024 is okay and then 950 okay so 1024 by 950 okay all right and then save image and go to bolt process now what that would do is basically optimize all the images on your site now obviously we don't have any images yet so don't worry about it. so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install all of the demo content so what we're going to do is go over to appearance and then we're going to go down to import demo data okay now once you've got that and this is all done next thing you're going to do is import demo data okay so that's going to basically import all of the information that this theme has um, in regards to demo content okay so your site will then look something like this okay so it'll just give you a bunch of dummy content so we're just going to wait for that to happen this at the bottom of the screen which says that's it all done it says the demo import has finished please check your page and make sure that everything has imported correctly if it did you can deactivate the plugin okay so what we're going to do the way we can see that is by going over to this tab if not right click on um, go down sorry hover over my blog right click on visit site and open a new tab so now we can see that we have a site that looks a bit more like this okay so there's a few things that we're going to do now so you can see this menu so on and so forth so the site's looking a-okay right about now so there's still quite a few things that we'd need to change but if you open this you can see this is what it looks like okay so you've got a basic wordpress site now okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to delete the plugin as it said so what we're going to do is go to plugins install plugins and we're going to delete this plugin so we're going to first need to deactivate it and then once we've done that we're going to delete the plugin so that's all done the next thing we're going to do is we've got obviously the sg optimizer sg image optimizer we need to install the resize plugin okay so we're going to go back to plugins go down to add new and then we're going to type resize image after upload okay and this is the one we want by short pixel we're going to click install now and then activate and this is done okay so once you've installed that plugin which is the image after re, re after upload you should be fine this is obviously set a maximum width and height so on and so forth leave that as no leave it all the same okay and the way you could get to that is obviously settings and then resize after image upload okay so anyway the next thing i'm going to take you through is all of the settings for the website okay so the first thing we're going to go to is if you wanted to add any users anyone else you know to, to the site then this is how you would do it okay so you can add people you know change the email so on and so forth if you had your profile that you wanted to change then you could make those changes here add a bio for yourself change the password and you could set up Gravatar, which allows you to have a profile picture that anytime you write as an author on any website, it will come up with the image that you upload to Gravatar. Okay, so you could also set that up. The next thing we're gonna go down to is settings. Okay, so when we go to settings, we're gonna go to general and we're gonna set this up step by step. Okay, so this is where you would set up, you know, any new users, what you want them to default as. You might put them as an author, like anyone who you create as a new you know user or whatever sorry subscribers you would want to keep this as apologies for that because this is going to be you know if you were to add users on the site i believe then obviously you know you would want them as an author but if someone registered on your site like just as a customer then you want them as a subscriber okay and then as we go down you can see here you can change the formatting to whatever suits you best whatever suits your country your time zone so on and so forth so this is english united states you could obviously do united kingdom if you're in the uk so on and so forth okay i'll just leave that the same for the minute just to give you an example now one of the other things i would recommend is that you keep your url to you know um just without the www dot 
like it's a lot easier for people to remember this in this day and age and then your emails can go on the end of that as well just exactly like support or admin at blah 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 just like the website okay so it's a lot easier all right now the next thing we're going to do is go down to writing so writing you know you'd leave this again the same default post once you've got more categories you can set that up if you want to default it default post format leave that as standard and then these are your mail servers leave them the same and save changes next one you're going to go to is reading now this one's quite interesting because in order for this theme to work properly okay yeah you would need to have this set as post page blog and then home page home okay you have to have it and you have to have like a, a post on this website as as home like a page or a post in order for it to work it has to be set up like a blog okay and then you know for each podium um, each post in feed include full text or summary okay so leave that the same search engine uh, visibility if you didn't want to do your site for seo and you wasn't going to do that kind of traffic and you didn't want it to show up for 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 rankings then you would click discourage but you don't want to do that because you want as much traffic from google as possible click save changes now the next tab is going to be discussion now this is quite interesting because a lot of people never know what goes wrong with their site why comments don't work and things like that it's usually something to do with this okay so read this carefully as well default post settings attempt to notify any blogs linked from the post okay so like this is notify you if anyone's linking inside of your posts yeah allow link notifications from other blogs pingbacks and trackbacks i'll take that off allow people to submit comments on new posts yes you do want that this is usually default selected. They've obviously taken that off WordPress now. A lot of people's comments box used to disappear after 14 days and they wouldn't know what it was. It's usually this. Comment offer must fill name and email. I would have that on. User must be registered. Don't worry about that. Break comments into blah, blah, blah. No, don't worry. Okay. Any uh, Anyone can post a comment. Yes. Like, and it says email me whenever anyone posts a comment. Do you need some an email every time? I don't know. Yeah, keep it on in case you need to approve the comment. A comment is held for moderation. Yes, you do want that. You don't want crap spam going on your website without you approving it. Before a comment appears, comment must be manually approved. Yes, you want that on. Comment author must have previously approved comment. Take that off. You don't, they don't need to have a previously approved comment, you know, um, because then like, you know, don't worry about that. Just take it off. And then this are anyone who you'd want to like blacklist any words, sorry, like that you don't want. And then, you know, moderation here as well. Okay, when it contains any of these words or IP address, email address, name or whatever. Okay. Now this is the default. So if someone doesn't have an image like with Gravatar and whatever else, the, the site that I mentioned earlier, then this is a way that you can get, obviously, um, you know, someone to show something okay and, and a comment so you could have a monster i wouldn't do that it's not professional i'd probably keep it as this or that probably this mystery person is the best one and then for rating i would always keep that as suitable for all audiences okay and then avatar show avatar save settings okay now the next one is media leave that all the same you don't need to worry about that now this one's permalinks this you will need to change okay so what you want for this one is post name. That's the one you always want to select for SEO purposes. Yeah, so it won't have all this hashtag, blah, 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 whatever. You'd have a nice clean, this is called a permalink, okay? Or slug. So you'd want a nice clean slug or permalink. So this one's the one you want and then click save changes, okay? Now the next one is privacy. If you come down to privacy, you know, you have like a privacy page, privacy policy, so on and so forth. Use this page, so on and so forth. Okay, so let's just have a look what this actually has on the site. It's probably like that default one. Yeah, so they've got like a default kind of thing. So you can come in and fill in the blanks that will be uploaded with the demo content. Okay, so you could come and tailor it to your site. Look, you know so on and so forth so that's quite handy to have and you are going to need all of that setting up an amazon affiliate site because you're going to need all the legal information like the terms and conditions and whatever else okay so the next thing that we're going to do is set up the actual website okay so we've got everything else set up 
like the website and whatever else, but we need to set up all the intricate details like you're about us, legal information, so on and so forth. So the way we do that on this theme is if you go to Akabadu settings, we're gonna go through each of the uh, settings step by step, okay? So show primary navigation on desktop. So that's if you basically want to show this like that, or you just wanna keep it in a little kind of stacked burger kind of looking thing. I personally keep it like this. I did used to have it open. I thought it was better for user experience and whatever else, but it still works very well like this. And if you right click and click inspect, you can check how it looks on mobile, which is very similar to that, okay? So what we're gonna do next is I would uh, leave that off, okay? Activate anti-bounce protection. So what that is, is if you are on this site here and you wanted to exit, yeah, say for example, let's just have a look if it works right now. Exit, no, okay. Well, what happens is, is there's a box that pops up here. Like I'm not sure if it work on like another post or something. Let's have a look. What, what it essentially does is it pops up with a box saying stop, you know, like hold up, don't leave kind of thing. Okay, so I would leave this out. It says before you go check this out and then it can link to an article, so on and so forth, okay? So this is the writing that you would have in there and you can check it out by just like installing it on your site. Yeah, we're not getting it right now, but it does pop up, it's a gray box. Okay, so then you can link to you know where where, it, where where to link it to so you could select an article or whatever you wherever you want to send them when when it says stop you know go to here enable comments i would you know they recommend disabling it but you can enable it i mean if it's just an affiliate site you don't really care about comments anyway you're just trying to get people to click over to an affiliate product so you don't really need them but it'll save you a lot of time so if you want to make it completely passive then yeah take off comments and then we've got show featured images you know so if checked featured images will appear at the top of individual posts i personally use these i do use them and then this is where you would add any code like if you wanted to add any code like if you're adding a you know something like integrating something or doing something else okay so disabled ad spaces I'll disable them because we're not currently running ads on this site and click update. So when we refresh this, this ad space thing should, should be gone. So let's just take a look and there you go, it's disappeared, okay? Now if we click this, this will have like a nice big image like this. I use them, you know, that, that, that's what a featured image is. I, I do use them on, on my websites. So I never used to, but I started using them. Now if you wanted to change the logo of the site, you would obviously make a logo, you could go over to a site called Fiverr and you could get a logo made. There's very good logo makers on here. You can give them something like that, you know, and just tell them you want something similar to that. And then you could obviously, you know, buy, buy a logo, just type in logos, logo design. And there's plenty of people that you can just go to, make sure their ratings are pretty good and, you know, in a good price. So I'd pay about 20, 30, quid for, for, for a logo, no problem. You know, um, it, you've got some of them are super expensive. You don't want those ones. You just want something like this, for example, 32 quid, and he's probably gonna do a really good job, you know, and then look at that. So you know you know he's gonna do a good job. He's got a bunch of good logos, really good. And just show him like the kind of logo you want and pay that money, okay? Or you could get one for five pounds, you know, just find a cheap one even if you want but you can't expect the quality to be as high of a standard as that guy. Even this is not bad, 20 pounds, that's very cheap again. And you can check them out. I'll leave a link to my guy that I use below this video, okay? So anyway, the next part we're going to do is we've already, you know, you could change the logo, you give those sizes, by the way. We're gonna go down to colors, okay? So if you have any set colors that you'd like on the buttons, you know, you could change that. You could change like, you know, the uh, headline color of each post and all this different stuff like section header, background. This is for the anti-bounce thing. Don't worry about that bit, leave that the same. And then homepage hero text color. 
you know, article, text, color, so on and so forth. So just to click update button, background color, I'll show you what the buttons will look like now. So all these buttons here, you see what they look like. You see, so you, you can change these things to whatever you want. If you wanted to change this and you had like a really strong black theme, then you would obviously change that to black and then you'd click reset. And now that's black as that is gray. Okay, so you can do whatever you want with this. I mean, let's just do it for yellow for argument say or orange, just to make this a bit more interesting than the sound of my voice. <laughs> All right, so we've got that anyway. That's what we would do. Now, if you wanted to install a different theme, you wouldn't have to do as much as this, but this is why this theme is so good because you set all this up and then you forget it. You don't have to worry about it after that. Okay, so this is the footer. You know, it's already got this in there. So it will have the current year, like here to 2020, copyright, you know, my blog. You can change that to, you know, um, kid affiliate um ltd or whatever you want to change that to and let's have a look it should, it should publish something similar in there anyway this is a footer advertisement you don't really want that anyway and what we're going to do is kid affiliate limited so you can see you know like uh, when you, you could type in the normal copyright stuff that you see on websites and if you don't know what i'm talking about just go down to like these sites you know just something like that okay so you just take that and just uh paste it in there so you refresh that it should look like that okay so you could obviously have that okay brilliant so the next thing is we're gonna go down to home page okay so what we're gonna do on the home page is display hero section yep so this is this part up here this is the hero image okay if you want that this big box here then you can have that or if you don't want it you can just have these little featured images kind of boxes okay so that's what that is and this will basically show you what you want to type in it so you see how this one says check it out we could have like read more or what so on and so forth so you can see we don't have any of that at the moment i do recommend using either the hero and the featured um, tiles or both of them as well you can see this is how it looks when you put both i think that looks pretty cool or just at least have these you know so it gives it some kind of you know appearance like some some kind of uh, aesthetic to your site okay so you can see whatever post you want to send the link to you can click and send it to recent articles header so on and so forth so if you wanted to show like you know recent posts from here like all of this or this whatever you know go and test it so you can see like what's new if we put that there and click update you'll be able to see exactly what part of it it exactly affects okay so you can see that's what it was all of the previous articles that you've got now we've got this uh, hero text and if you want to change that again it's got the uh, sizing for the image you can see 1200 by 400 so 1200 crossways obviously and 400 down and you can add an image and select whatever you want to upload there. Now, if you don't have an image, just go on Google, find one, and, you know, go to canva.com and you can ed edit stuff on, on that site there. You would just be able to, you know, make there. You just create a design and then custom dimensions and you put the 1200 by 400 create design. And then you just drag in like an image onto you know whatever you want like it's that simple and you know look, i'll just show you how easy this is could download the jpeg i mean they're trying to charge us for this but i don't want a premium image so just get like a free one you know or, or get one off google more more or less you know you could upload it from google and you could just start this is my girlfriend so let's put a picture of her in there or this image here i don't know wherever the weather so you can see how it would come down and then uh, JPEG download. This is how you would do it. So I'll show you exactly how simple this is. Okay, so that's a JPEG untitled. And then if we uh, click add image, drag that on. You can see they've given you a bunch of images in this demo stuff here as well. So that's pretty good. And we're just gonna wait for that to upload. Select. And then if we click update, 
and we refresh the page you can see that image is there now if you find that this image is blurry and there is a way of reducing that but you know I won't go through that in this video if it is blurry just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you with how to do that okay how to fix it some sometimes it will come out like that and sometimes you know it might be okay now the next thing we're going to go to is sidebar what we're going to do for the sidebar as you can see on this site it says about us so if it's about you you know you could put about me or I you know you could use who am I whatever and then put an image of yourself you know image will appear in a circle so you can see it will look like that so you can put an image of yourself you put a bit about who you are so if you don't know what to write then you could write this look you could I mean you could use this but check out what these guys have done you know so I'm a guy with blah 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 so on and so forth and that's a picture of him and about Jim Harmer so you can emulate exactly what's there and then legal information you do want that so they've already given you this like so you don't really even need to worry about it they've already put it down for Amazon so that's already done see so this is what I'm saying there's a lot done on this website and then this is like an advertising section which we've already removed so we don't need that okay so the next thing we're going to do is go down to SEO so you would update settings each time by the way and this is a sitemap XML sitemap so this helps Google with crawling your site so on and so forth so we haven't set that up yet but we will do in a moment and then this is Google Analytics okay so what we're going to do is this is the title of your website so if your site is called like how you want it to show up on the search appearance okay so for example if you type um, kid affiliate say for example um, kit or let's just type camper report I'll show you how what I'm talking about like this the name of the site is here okay so this is what you want to put in here yeah so you want to put like you know kid affiliate okay um, you know you're gonna put kid affiliate then you put like the description which is this part down here that you would put that that's what what goes into this part okay so that's what shows up like when someone sees your home page of your site on on the on the you know on google or any other search engine google analytics will add in after once we set that up we're going to set that up next and then this is if you like got book reviews on your site or so on and so forth you would enable those options and then like if you had recipes you know so on and so forth so we're just going to click update okay and then if you don't have this stuff and you ain't going to use it then just untick it and then once you've done that yeah as you can see we've run out of <laughs> options i need that left this is essentially set up so you you set the site up okay so if we you know re refresh this you can see we've gone from having nothing to having this site and if we were to set up like a few of those tiles let's just go back to that i'll show you exactly how that thing looks if you were to actually add images in there with the uh, t featured tiles so this is what that would look like let's just click update and i'll show you what that looks like okay so you can see how quickly you can have a site that looks pretty good and this theme converts very well so you can see how how this can quickly rapidly change okay now if you wanted to edit your menu or anything like that what you would do is you would come down to appearance menus and then you can move things about so say for example if you had uh, for example you had like a page you wanted to add so this is the menu footer so if you go to primary menu which is the top menu and you click select <coughs> we can see all the different subsections and stuff so if we go to blog on our site we'll probably see all these other things underneath you know all these things so if you wanted to move blog like you know we could close that and move blog like to the beginning look you could do that save menu then when you refresh it blog will move from there to here so i'll show you what it will do 
you can see it's at the beginning okay and then you could add like you know more sub items or take these away so you could remove these yeah like news and then you can add things okay so if you had like a you know a topic category you wanted to add you'd go up to posts categories add a new category yeah and then after you've added a new category you'd come back to appearance menus and then it will be in in this section okay like or here so you can see these two categories we can do it for an example i'll show you post categories we just call this like test one okay add new category so you can see there it's already there quick edit the slug is going to be kid affiliate forward slash test one as well that's the slug like i said this bit up here okay and then what we're going to do is go back to appearance menus okay so it's going to show up right down here view all test one add to menu so now we've got a new category you see so this is how easy it is to show a category so you can mess around with that you can set up whatever you want of course make sure to fill out the about us page you want you want that you know you want a contact page maybe as well you can add a contact form if you want so you can write about yourself in this page look so this is already set up for you you just put in whatever you want look, so this is what you would fill in write all about it and then if you wanted to add a pinterest image on a post here you could do that as well you know and you could no index the page if you wanted to but i wouldn't recommend you do that okay you want you want search engines to crawl it so what we're going to do next is when you go down um you can see how this site looks you know we've got our terms and more well, legal information you are also going to need um not privacy preferences let's just have a look okay so they haven't got anything else on this site which is okay but you usually do need like a little small terms and conditions you know page on your site just to explain privacy policy or anything like that so this might be they've got like a plugin on here so privacy policy is something i would usually put down here you, you can just get like a privacy policy generator on the internet and then just tweak it to make sense for your site and you would just add it in by uh, going to pages i would recommend doing that as a page add new page and then you would title it like privacy policy and then you would copy the text in there and you know put whatever you want save it so you could you know save draft and then publish it when you're ready to publish and after you've done that at the part when we was back at um, the settings and we was on the footer you would um, create a bit of text so say for example we click that privacy policy then you would you would link it you would click this link and then you would type your page like the privacy policy page that you created and then you would click update okay so now when we go to that site I'll show you here if we open a new tab it will have a privacy policy so you can see about us privacy policy I would keep it like that so you can see here you know that's that's how you'd have it so I I remember obviously we already had this set up didn't we because they gave us this already so you need to update it and whatever else okay so that's done anyway once you've done that you're meeting all the legal requirements if you've got clickbank add that into your site you know make sure you put that in your legal stuff and that's it you're not going to have ads at the beginning because you've got no traffic so your your next thing is basically you would set up google analytics and google search console so that's what we're going to move on to because everything from here i mean i can show you how to set up a post but i'm sure you'd get your gist around that so for your like affiliate articles and everything you know in regards to what you're trying to rank you would do a post and anything which is like a firm part of the site like in regards to an about us page or something like you know your um privacy policy or anything like that those are all going to be pages okay things that you're not caring about ranking you're just doing it as it's part of the site structure okay so if we were to do posts we could click like add new this is how you'd add an article to the site you click add new you put in your post name and then you click save draft and it will create the slug that you need like so kidaffiliate.com forward slash 
it's whatever the page you just called the title okay now once you've done that don't worry about meta description on this site because it this the, this theme actually pulls the data from your post to help you rank anyway so don't worry about it you don't need to add it with this theme and and then if you wanted to add this to a particular category you could have obviously change the slug here as well it gives you the option to do it from there like edit there or you could do it here so that's quite handy again with this theme don't worry about tags don't need to use them featured image if that's the big massive image as i was explaining like the ones at the top of the article like this um, let's have a look this one here okay that's a featured image if you wanted to change that you would just obviously put that um in that section and i recommend doing that 1024 by 653 so that's a good size okay 1024 by 653 is what you want to go for all right so once we've got all of that you would obviously the way you set up like an article if you're writing you'd write right right you know right 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 if you want to set up like a link or something like that you highlight the area click that and you link out it's that simple okay if you want to make it bold you click bold if you want to change it and make it a heading, that's like something like, you know, you, this is a section of where your head, you're titling this area. Like just say, for example, like this, for example, then what you would do is click heading. Okay. And then for big headings, like big major topics, you're going to do H2. If you put something in a subtopic under a H2, then you obviously make it a H3. And if you've got a subtopic under that H3, you'd make it a H4. It's that simple. You don't need to complicate things, okay? And if you wanted to make it in a quotation, like something like that, you can mess around with that. I recommend just, you know, kind of testing all this stuff and getting used to it. And if you wanted to add an image, it's really simple on this. You just click the plus or you click image here and you just add an image like that. If you wanted one of these charts like this, you know, like how they've got like a bunch of data in this article like this, well, that's very simple too with uh, this theme, okay, with, with WordPress nowadays. Click plus, and then all you do is go to formatting, table, then you put like, you know, five or 10, whatever, create table, and now you've got that. So if we click preview, and whenever you're publishing your content, you don't wanna make it live straight away, you wanna do preview first, and then obviously you can see it. So we've got like a handy little, you know, table here. It doesn't look like their one, but it is the same table once you mess around with it a bit. You know, it's exactly the same one. So you can either do this one, you can see how it looks like that. It's just because it hasn't got information on it. Let's just put some info in it and then click preview again. It should now look like the one that we saw on their website. So they, they you know, it's a bit more modern now. I think it looks even better. But that's how it is okay and then you've got suggested articles at the bottom you can switch that on and off as well if you wanted now um you know that after you've done that there's not really much more you can see that fixed table width you can change the style most probably you know probably here or something like that you can add them there's nothing much more to do you can allow comments on this post you know and that's it that that's it, you're done. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do, that's your website set up. Like, honestly, there's not much more to it. It's that simple. That's how you set up an affiliate website. You're, you're ready to go, like, and start publishing content. Google Search Console, what that is, is it's Google's, like, admin platform to show you all the different things that they're measuring on your site. So it shows you all the information of how Google is reading your site and how it's understanding it. It's one of the best places to get information about your site. And also, you know, it allows you to see if you've got any like manual penalties or anything, if you've been penalized in future in regards to SEO. Okay. So anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to come into Google Search Console. Hopefully you have already got a Google account. If you haven't, then go make one. And what you're going to do is come into here. Once you've registered for it, you're going to be landing on a page that looks something like this. It won't be this because obviously I was trying to log into something else, but it would just be something like this. Okay. So the next thing is what, what, you know, so it's, it's here. Look, welcome to Google search console. You're going to go on the left and you're going to click add property. Now you're going to put in your website. So it's kid affiliate.com. That's it. You're going to click continue and then it's going to say verifying property. So what we're going to need to do is copy this txt and add it into the dns configuration okay so 
if you've got like a certain, you know, we're going to use site ground. So we're going to put it into our host. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to site ground. OK, and you're going to log in. And this is how you're going to verify this site with this. Yeah. So you're going to log in because you've already done that, obviously. And then we're going to sign in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to my accounts. We're going to go to C panel. Proceed. Now we're going to go to advanced DNS zone editor and we're going to select our site from there and then name is kid affiliate.com. Okay, we're going to select TXT and we're going to put that code in there and TTL, we're going to copy this. Okay, 14400, whatever that is. We're going to paste that in there and add record. So now that's um, successfully added. OK, so now when we go back to here, we're going to click verify. Now, it might not have done it yet. Sometimes it takes a little while, look a few hours and whatever else. But that's done. Once you've done that, you're good. You're done. OK, so after that, we're going to install Google Analytics. OK, so that's what's going to allow you to see all of like how many people are visiting your site, so on and so forth. So what we're going to do is go to Google Analytics. OK, and then you would click here. OK, and you'd start this up. So let's just log into my partners. So what we're going to do is because this is how you would do it. Google Analytics. OK, so it's still showing my stuff, but doesn't matter. All right. So so I'll show it like, let me see, because it will help you to see it from brand new. Like, OK, because then I can uh, show you. So start measuring. So account name. Yeah. So whatever your account name is like you know, accounts can con contain one, one, more than one tracking name. So put your name in here, like, you know, hers is Sadie King. So I'll use her name and then, you know, leave all that the same. Just click next. Then website. We're going to using a website. OK, leave that website name. Yeah. So it's kid affiliate. That's why it's so good that I've done this, because there's probably parts of this video that, I, 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 you know, that you didn't understand because I never done it from brand new. But um, yeah, kidaffiliate.com. Sorry, website name, kid affiliate. You could just call it that or kid site, whatever you want. If you do tutorials like me, you know, people don't want you to share your site because <laughs> um, people copy and stuff. OK, so so like United Kingdom, whatever, create. OK, so once you've done that, accept the data of the analytics, accept the measurement and click I accept, I accept, I accept. Yeah. OK, so you've done all of that. Don't worry about that. OK, so website tracking ID. Now, what's interesting about this theme again is usually with themes, you'd have to do all this complicated stuff, but not with the theme Akabadu. So if you do this and you go back to settings and you go back to SEO, but sorry, not settings, um, Akabadu settings and SEO, what, what this theme has is it has like the box where you just put in the the code yeah so you just paste it there and then click update and and you're done like it's it's that simple like that is how easy it is with this theme yeah usually you'd have to copy the code into your site and all this stuff like you literally do not have to do that on this site okay so it's that simple and once you've done that you can see like it's no data received in the last 24 hours but there is a way of checking this like you could just there's a button somewhere where you can check it but believe you me it's done like once you've done that you're good you're, you're all registered then anything that happens that's now connected with your site so it can read all the information of you know like how, how many people are landing on it where they came from and you, you know this is a whole tutorial within itself of how to use this program but there's tons of information that you will get reported back on this. But that's how easy it is. That's how quick it is to do. So now we've got Search Console. We've got this and we could try to verify that again. You know, it's probably. Yep, yeah, there we go. So that's done now. OK, so you see how quick that is. And then now if we click that, we'll get access to all the information for this domain. OK, so anytime you do a new article, what you would do is just say you click post. 
and you've done a new article, what you would do is, um, you know, like say for example, this was like a live one. Let's just click uh, view. Well, what you would do is you copy this URL after you've written it and you're happy with it and you're ready for it to go live on, on the internet. You go to the search console. So you go back to your search console every time. Yeah, you go to performance, um, URL inspection, sorry, paste the URL and then click enter. And when you do that, it's now gonna put it on Google. So it will show up on Google, then request indexing. Now this is gonna put it in Google's index. Okay, so like the results, the search results. If you don't see things like pop up within the first six months or something, if you're doing SEO, then don't worry about it because it takes a while with SEO. It's going to take some time. I've got tons of videos on all that stuff, but that's exactly what you would do. And then obviously this is going to submit it to Google and then indexing is going to be make the URL live on Google. So now this will show up on Google if someone types your first blog post. But obviously that's a very hard keyword, so you probably won't show up for that. Okay, so then you can check the speed of your site, how that's performing. And as you go on like throughout the months, you will see like, you know, any manual penalties, you can see that would pop up here. And that is a, a complete tutorial on, on, on setting up an Amazon affiliate site. Um, honestly, the, I mean, there's more to it, of course, like, but this is the basics that like, you could bang out content on your site now and, and make money. Like, you know, all you need to do is obviously register for Amazon's affiliate program which is I'm sure you would know how to do. You just do Amazon affiliate. And then there's going to be obviously, you know, associates program. You would log in, uh, sorry, join now. And you would set this all up. Like, and that's quite straightforward once you set up. There's not really much to it. The, the only way that you integrate that with your site is once you've set up the Amazon account, which is straightforward, it's a bunch of tutorials, what you would do is when you go over to Amazon, just say, for example, like a UK, you'll have this little bar at the top called Site Stripe that just automatically comes up once you're registered on Amazon Affiliate. So if you're just shopping for something or you're going to put this product on your site, say, for example, this camera, you're going to make a camera website. Well, what you would do is click text and now you've got your tracking IDs and stuff and you click that link, but use the full link on your affiliate sites yeah you can use the short one if you want if you're never going to sell the site but if you are going to sell the site one day use the long one okay so short link we could do that so if i was to basically go to this post edit the post any of the text inside and i wanted to do like like um check out this camera here yep I recommend using a plugin called Grammarly as well, by the way. Um, you've probably heard of it. It's a Google extension tool. This one here, this is what's correct in all of my text because I'm usually bad with spelling anyway. So you can install that. Very easy to do. Just go to uh, the three dots on the right. Yeah, go to settings um, and then, you know, or more tools, I believe even extensions. Right click and then click on this menu, open Chrome Web Store and then type uh, Grammarly okay and that will allow you to install that and another thing especially if you're writing in a different country like for example I'm in the UK and I have American websites so you definitely want to use it for that kind of thing and then LastPass this is like a vault it stores everything and it automatically logs you into things like you know but it protects you at the same time so you don't have to remember passwords and you can generate like super hard passwords to guess like look at this can do like 92 characters with symbols, lowercase, uppercase, all of that. Easy to say, you could have something that's very easy to say, you know, like in 15 characters, like rough stirring it. I don't know how easy that is. Easy to read maybe, or all characters, I would do that, you know, copy it and whatever, but it will save in this vault. So you never have to remember it again. Any site you go to, it will automatically log you in with the details. So two pretty good Google extensions. Now I'm going to just, uh, last thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you this actually. This is how you paste the link. This is the affiliate link. So paste it in there. Sorry, I, I ended up going off on a tangent without getting that link. So copy it, paste it, enter. Now you have an affiliate website. That, that, it's that simple. Like you just registered, you got the link. Now, you know, you could put a picture of a camera here. So just say I had that picture of this camera, for example. You know, you don't want to use this stuff on your affiliate website so much but um, this is the kind of thing that you could have potentially so upload uh, media library 
upload files Look, let's copy that in there and what you would do for affiliate marketing is if you want it to show up on Google you'd put that like black Canon camera so if someone searches that on Google you might show up on images and get traffic from that as well that's what alt text is and then look, check out the camera here and then if I click preview it will show up with the camera there no, it's a huge picture, but that's exactly how it is. And then if we click that, it will take us to Amazon through the affiliate link. So if we go up here, you can see this is going to have Sadie somewhere like or something like that because that's my partner's affiliate link. There we go, Sadie King, and that's her affiliate link. You can see GB Great Britain, so on and so forth, okay? So it's that simple. That's affiliate marketing in a nutshell. The traffic will come from Google. Obviously, I've shown you how to optimize your site. Honestly, smash this like button if you enjoyed this video. Um, this is absolutely everything you need to set up an Amazon affiliate website in 2020. And make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel because I push out tons of content and I've got many more tutorials coming over the course of this year. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.